Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about how Supergirl ends. Katie McGrath, who plays Lena, has teased how it potentially will end and what's going to be happening with her character. Also, we're going to be going over the episode 5 promo, so that is next week's episode, where we're going to see Team Supergirl time travel. So we got a whole lot of stuff to break down. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So yes, we have the trailer. And we're going to quickly go over the trailer and then we'll go right over to Katie McGrath talking about how Supergirl is going to end. Obviously, this is Supergirl's final season, so you're going to be getting a lot of talk about this, teasing how it's going to end. Melissa has teased recently, also the showrunners teased some stuff, but now we have someone else from the cast officially chiming in. But anyway, let's talk about the episode 5 promo first. So, Prom Night is the first part of the two-part episodes that is going to be happening this week obviously continuing to the week after and that is going to be episode 5 and 6 and so it must be noted that after episode 6 I believe it's either at the end of that episode or in episode 7 you're going to see Melissa return to present day and so that's super super exciting we're getting closer and closer this is obviously the episode where Brainy and Nia are time traveling back to Midvale that was teased at the end of the last episode but yeah, so the promo showcases Young Kara and Alex returning, so that being Isabella Vidovic playing Young Kara and Olivia Nakanan playing Young Alex. They've shown up in like two or so seasons. They had that great Midvale episode a while ago. And so I think this is the greatest idea to have both of these characters on screen together, but not having Melissa there. Like, it's a great idea. And I mean, they couldn't have done it any other way and any better way, really. So yeah, in the trailer you get to see Brainy and Nia, they go back in time, they all dress up and they try and fit into the early 2000s, and so they go on the ship. This is actually a Legion ship, so that must be noticed. You can see in the background this is the same set that they used, and I guess this is why Brainy referred to the season story as Legion-like, because there is time travel involved. So I'm not sure if the Legion's going to get more involved. However, obviously there is the chance at the end of the season that maybe Brainy goes back to the future, rejoins the Legion, and also probably Nia is going to go, and it's likely that Kara will go as well. Okay, so yeah, you get them in the Legion ship, they are dressed up, and they are dressed up for the prom, and I believe this is the first time that Supergirl, well, as a whole, like as a TV show, has properly tackled time travel. I mean, I don't think it's going to be like the biggest deal. I think it's going to be a bit similar to what they did with The Flash recently, where you had that episode where Cisco and Chester got sent back in time. And you're going to see these other versions of our characters interacting with the present Neo and Brainy. And so obviously that's very risky. And Alex in this trailer does warn of how important this is and that they must not mess up the timeline because if they mess up the timeline they mess up everything and things could basically get worse. So there's like a bunch of funny jokes throughout this trailer saying what's up like you know trying to fit in to the time period and to the kids and in the trailer Kara well young Kara and young Alex and also Kenny who actually died before so I wonder how he is being resurrected maybe it's to do with crisis or maybe it's to do with what they affect in this version of the timeline Maybe he hasn't died at this point, I'm not 100% sure, I can't really remember. Maybe you guys can correct me in the comments below if you do remember where exactly he died. I know it was in the Midvale episode before. However, you have young Kara introducing herself as Kara Zorel rather than Kara Danvers. So obviously Kenny is in the know. And now it seems like she has been made aware of our team members. And so they're going to be teaming up throughout this episode. Okay, so if we go over to like a bunch of photos they released for this episode, you get to see different iterations out on the baseball field. So this is at Midvale High back in the early 2000s. You've got young Kara here with Brainy and Nia, and they are fully dressed up once again for the prom. Obviously, the prom is going to be going on. That is the titles of the episode, Prom Night and Prom Again. And so we also get our first look at Young Cat Grant. So here we go. This is Eliza Helm, who is the new actress playing Cat Grant. Obviously, this is a younger version, so that's why she's different. And it's not Callista Flockhart. However, it's the same character, and I'm looking forward to seeing her iteration of Cat. And I think everyone has missed Cat, so it's very exciting. And I really hope this version is really good. And I'm interested to see how she actually mixes into the story. 
So I'm presuming she's in these two episodes and that is like her big kind of cameo as a legacy character but definitely like an alternate version, right? So it's not like Callista Flockhart or it's not Melissa Benoist, it is other actors playing them when they were younger. So I think it's a really smart idea that they did this. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo. It seems young Kara and young Alex have supposedly taken Nia and probably Brainy to their Midvale home. So that is where they're staying and Nia is in like pajamas, she is sleeping on the floor presumably talking to young Kara, so they're definitely friends and I don't know how this is going to impact the timeline because this means that Nia has already met Kara when she was younger and has Kara been keeping this a secret all this time or does something change in the timeline that basically what happens here in these events doesn't affect what happens to our version of Supergirl. But the final photo you have young Alex talking to young Cat Grant, who has supposedly come to their Midvale High School, so she is on the lookout for a story, we know that. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing, and this is a big thing. So, Katie McGrath did an interview with EW, you can find the link in the description below if you want to read the whole thing for yourself. They answer a bunch of questions, however, we're going to be going over the main stuff that is very important in regards to what's happening at the ending of the season because I think that's what most of you guys are most interested in. So they pose this question, what are you most excited for fans to see from the rest of the final season? So Katie replied, people are going to lose their minds when they watch all of it. The moment when Kara comes back is going to be very important, and it was for us too because we got Mel back, so it was great. But every episode up until we finish, We'll have something that's going to shock and surprise and impress. So that's super exciting, this teaser, that we're going to be shocked, we're going to be surprised, and we're going to be impressed every single episode. And it seems like there is a lot in store for us. Obviously, what we've got right now has been very good. However, I'm really looking forward to when Supergirl comes back full time. I'm talking Melissa interacting with the rest of the cast and there not being the separate storylines. I think this is the point where you guys are going to get really hyped and I think this is where you're going to have the proper story playing out like you know big bads and everything. So apparently according to Katie the moment where Kara comes back which she does confirm obviously however you know we just need to say she just did confirm it because that hasn't been actually said as of right now obviously we presume she's coming back because it is super go after all and this is the whole storyline that they've been going down to try and save super go it's like literally all three episodes barring the first episode where she wasn't sent away just as of right then however it's going to be very important and it was very important for them obviously because melissa rejoined with them so if you guys didn't know they actually filmed in october and melissa returned in january the 14th however she didn't return with the main cast until february the 14th so that was a long time i mean she literally went over a year without seeing any of the cast members so obviously it was really special and it is the final season because if you guys didn't know supergirl was supposed to finish filming last march but they got shut down and then since then they all went off in the different directions until Supergirl and in Vancouver they were able to start filming again. However, Melissa was on maternity leave in October when the rest of the Supergirl cast started filming these episodes that you're seeing right now and Melissa wasn't able to come back until January but then she had a whole month where she shot all the Phantom Zone scenes and that's why you got so much Phantom Zone scenes because they filmed so much and obviously they made it properly intertwined with the stuff they shot earlier whilst also working on those later episodes as well. So I think they went around it really good and I can't wait to see Kara finally return and reunite with Team Supergirl because it feels like a long time even though it's only been like three episodes. I guess three weeks is quite a long time. However, let's continue with this. So at the start of the article, there is this quote. I really would like to see Lena come into full acceptance of who she is. She's not hung up about the bad parts of her, and she's fully accepted the woman that she is, warts and all. Which is a weird phrase, but anyway, let's continue. And she believes that she is a good person. For me, that would be such lovely wrapping up for Lena. Because she struggled with so much with who she is. To finally just take a deep breath and go, I'm enough, Lena is enough, and be happy for it. I know it sounds so simple, it's not going to, it's not like these grand plans that everyone else has for their characters, but it's so simple for Lena. 
I just want her to be finally okay with who she is. So it seems like with KT actually talking about everyone else's plans for their characters or wants for their characters, I feel like the writers and the showrunners are taking into account what all the actors think that their story arc should end with because obviously they've been with these characters for a long time and they know these characters like the back of their own hand and as Melissa said in her recent interview talking about the ending of the season, she's had a say in how she ends and so it seems like Katie is hinting that they might have a bigger say than we originally might have thought of. So I think Lena will have that happy ending, she will be a fully rounded person by the end. And so let's continue with this, and while McGrath is playing coy about whether her dream for Lena will come true, she does tease that Lena's ending will be complete by the time Supergirl soars for the last time. Quote, It's very rare in this business that you get to tell a story from start to finish completely. A lot of times shows are cancelled before they get there, she says. So continuing with this, quote, so when the show finishes, we have the privilege to be able to tell that ending. Our showrunners are amazing and our writers are brilliant and the idea that they've come up with will get you an ending. So I'm presuming they have come up with an idea and they probably told the actors like, yes, this is a rough guide of where your character is going to end. Do you like it? What do you want to suggest? And obviously not every episode has been written yet. So they are just kind of compiling all of this and they are leading towards that ending. And so it's very exciting to see that all of the cast members are very excited to see where they end and that they have some sort of say. But that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any videos. But for now, click here to watch my latest video, my Supergirl review from last night. And I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.